Today, we're diving into a big reveal from Huawei. Harmony OS Next. This isn't just any update. Huawei has taken a bold step, moving closer to Apple's iOS in some significant ways. So what's new in Harmony OS Next and how could it impact Huawei users? Let's break down everything we know so far. First, let's talk about what makes Harmony OS Next different. An app developer, Wang Boli, has explored the Harmony OS Next beta and shared some interesting insights. According to Wang, Harmony OS Next is now a closed operating system, meaning it will only work with Huawei's own devices, similar to Apple's iOS. No more cross-compatibility with non-Huawei brands. This closed ecosystem approach has both advantages and limitations. On one hand, it allows Huawei to create a more unified and optimized experience where software and hardware work seamlessly together. But on the other, it means that if you're using non-Huawei devices, you won't have access to Harmony OS Next. Wang also points out that Harmony OS Next is unified and complete, but it can feel a bit complex. While it packs advanced features, some users might find it challenging to understand at first. Compared to third-party operating systems which aim for simplicity, Harmony OS Next has a steeper learning curve. But Huawei seems ready to refine things further, taking feedback from users and developers. So we can expect updates to address some of these complexities over time. In the future, we might see Harmony OS Next evolve into a more user-friendly experience while keeping its advanced features intact. Another interesting point, Harmony OS Next is based on OpenHarmony, an open source distributed OS. Huawei emphasizes that Harmony OS Next is a true operating system, not just an overlay like many other Android-based skins. They've gone a step further and removed all US-based components. This includes popular elements like Linux kernels and Android codes, which is huge because it makes Harmony OS Next a completely independent platform. Removing Android codes means Huawei isn't dependent on any US tech, which is a strategic move. However, it also means that Harmony OS Next won't support apps made for Android. Instead, users will rely solely on native apps developed specifically for Harmony OS. This brings a new level of independence for Huawei, but it could take some getting used to for anyone used to the Android app ecosystem. Now let's talk about the versatility Huawei aims to achieve with Harmony OS Next. Yu Chengdong, the chairman of Huawei Consumer Business, says the operating system is designed to connect across multiple devices, covering a variety of scenarios. So whether you're using a smartphone, tablet, or even a smart appliance, Harmony OS Next is built to work together seamlessly. This connectivity focus means we might see a stronger network of Huawei devices working in Harmony. Huawei's goal is to create an ecosystem that goes beyond the traditional OS limitations, integrating everything from smartphones to IoT devices. It's about making all your tech feel connected and intelligent. Huawei has accomplished something remarkable here. In just a decade, they've developed an OS that rivals some operating systems that have been around for nearly 30 years in the US and Europe, and it's still growing. Huawei is committed to continuous updates, so Harmony OS Next will only get better. Users can look forward to more improvements, better compatibility, and new features that will further enhance the user experience. So what does all this mean for Huawei and its users? By creating Harmony OS Next, Huawei is stepping into a new era. They have built an independent operating system, free from Android and US components, tailored to Huawei's unique ecosystem. It's a bold move, but it could give users a more secure, efficient, and interconnected experience. That said, there's still a lot to explore and see how this plays out as updates roll in. Will it provide the seamless experience Huawei promises? Only time will tell. If you're as excited about Harmony OS Next as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more updates on Huawei and the latest tech news. And let us know in the comments, are you ready for this new closed OS or do you think sticking with Android is the better choice? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.